In 2010, Greenpeace produced a report on the environmental impact of denim production in Shintong, China. That year, Shintong produced some 260 million pairs of jeans, and that's only about 40% of all the jeans sold in the US market that year. The images from this report expose an indigo wasteland, horrible working conditions, and the environmental degradation caused by massive unregulated dyeing operations. It's pretty easy to understand why the conditions this image represents are not what any of us aspire to. That said, um, throughout the world, we make and consume something on the magnitude of 1 billion, 240 million pairs of genes each year. Of those, about 483 million pairs are consumed in the US each year, despite a population of only around 325 million. So from my small plot of land in Bloomington, Indiana, I can't even begin to fathom these numbers, let alone the capital, farmland, governmental policy, and manpower that must be leveraged to produce on that scale. Unless we challenge the sheer volume of production and the cycle of overconsumption that's become the engine of world economies, I fear that we'll still end up with blue rivers no matter how we try to make those 1,240,000,000 pairs of genes each year.